Hi, and what I'd like to do in this video is to just go over the Kill Jade and End cinematic and discuss some of the implications that may be. It's pure speculation, this. I'll tell you another thing it is, it's also spoilers. If you haven't seen the video yet, then I suggest you go and see it first. If you don't want to see it until you've killed Kill Jaden yourself, then of course don't watch this video just yet. But I'm going to give you a few seconds just to switch off it now for anyone who doesn't want any spoilers because very much spoiler laden. Okay, you've gone. Right, so um, I did a video recently about the final boss in Legion and would it be Sargeras. I again will stamp my thing here. First of all, I absolutely don't think it should be. I think it would be an absolute nonsense that if any point during World of Warcraft until the very end of the game, when Blizzard knew that this is the end of the game and we've got Warcraft 5 ready to go, I do not think we should be defeating Sargeras. And I also don't think we will either. And I went through those reasons there. But I also went through some of the reasons why some people sensibly believe that we will be fighting Sargeras at least, whether finally defeating him is another matter. And I was watching this video, this cinematic that you get at the end of Kill Jaden, thinking, this has credence to the people who think we'll be fighting Sargeras. Um, I mean, let's just go through some of the bits here. So, in the cinematic itself, Kill Jaden thinks he's got the better of us. It's a bit like the end of the Predator film, you know. We're all going to die. It's like, I've got you, ha, 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 ha. So, we're all basically going to crash into Argus. However... Illidan has got other plans. Using his keystone, he is able to open up effectively a large portal to Azeroth. But of course, uh, it needs Khadgar to form a sort of teleport spell to actually get us to there. Now, while this is happening, um, Velen goes over to kill Jade. Now, you have to bear in mind, I'm just going to pause it here in a moment, that... Velen was very close to Kill Jaden. In fact, Velen, Kill Jaden, and Archimond were the leaders of what we'd now call the Drenai, the Eridar, you know, the people of Argus, effectively. They were the leaders, and then Sargeras came to them and basically persuaded Archimond and Kill Jaden of the need to form the Burning Legion. Velen was not at all convinced. He completely saw through Sargeras and then collected a band. Um, and then escaped on spaceships, first of all to Drenor, and then to Azeroth. And that's when they became known as the Drenai. The Drenai means the exiled ones, and Drenor means the exiled land. So when we, we call the planet of the Orcs the Drenor, but it's a bit weird really, because that's from the Drenai point of view. We don't actually know, well, I don't actually know what the Orcs called it. But anyway, so we've got this scene at the end here, where Kil'jaeden really, in the, in the lore up to this point, hates Velen. With a passion, he was desperate to crush Velen because he felt betrayed by him. Velen, after all, took some of their people and left Argus. And Kil'jaeden saw that as a massive, massive betrayal. So it was very, very personal for him. And yet what we actually have is uh, a scene here where Kil'jaeden is explaining that he's always envied Velen for, I know, now it's another film, isn't it? It's now like the ending of Seven. Um, but he envied Velen his faith that Sargeras could be defeated. Kill Jaden is basically saying at this point that he, the reason he did what he did is because he did not believe Sargeras could be defeated. This is straight out of the Lord of the Rings, isn't it? The reason why Saruman turned bad is not because he thought it would be a good idea for Sauron to take over Middle-earth, but because he saw no opposition to him. He didn't see a way that it was possible to beat him, so he joined forces. Kill Jaden is now saying the same thing, basically. Um, you know, but, but he then says at the end of it that he's now not so sure. He's saying, you... I didn't think you could kill... Sargeras, or, or, or defeat Sargeras. Now, hmm, maybe you can. Maybe you've shown me a thing or two. Where have we seen that before? That's come up a lot of times before, hasn't it? Raden, of course, where he was saying, "We, I don't think that you can defeat this oncoming darkness, whatever it happened to be. Hmm, but maybe you can because you've beaten me up. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much sense that makes, 
the fact that Kill Jaden, who himself is not as powerful as Sargeras, has been beaten up, doesn't necessarily mean we could beat Sargeras up. But then, at the end of it, there's a huge twist. So, Khadgar teleports them all off. We assume us two, <laughs> not just Vel and Illidan and Khadgar, who are the only ones that seem to be teleported. I assume us two. Um, through this portal to Azeroth, and they get there and uh, going, oh, wow, are we all okay? And uh, and we're just going to wait for it here. Uh, the the big reveal, huge, huge spoiler here, because this is not what we were expecting, is it? This is not what we were expecting. We knew we are going to Argus in 7.3. That was not a surprise. They told us that. But it's a bit, bit the wrong way around, isn't it? We expected that we would be travelling to Argus somehow. We knew we were going to Argus on the ship first of all with Kiljaden because the, the fight describes it as, you know, you start off on, on his ship and then he sets it into motion towards Argus. And you get to Argus round about the time you're killing Kiljaden uh, or defeating him. Uh, obviously, he lives a little bit longer to talk through all that exposition in the, in the video. And we're assuming that the way we're getting to Argus is either by portals that have been set up now that we're there. We set up a portal to Azeroth, I don't know. Or that we use the Legion ships. That's what I was thinking. We're going to use the Legion ships because Velen presumably would be reasonably familiar with it. I mean, the technology is presumably just corrupted Eridar technology. And he'd be sort of, a, he's got his artificers, uh, if that's the right word, amongst his Drenai people that they'd be able to work out to use the ships. And that's how we'd get there. But the big thing was always, why do we go to Argus? We know Velen wanted to go to Argus again uh, after that little cut scene with the Heart of Light thing. Uh, he did say something cryptic about get the um, get the Exodar ready uh, for travel, which seemed a faintly ludicrous thing to say, given that this spaceship is in pieces and face first in the dirt. You know, it's stuck in the ground like a dart. Uh, it's going nowhere, son. Uh, so we, I, I assume they were just going to take the Legion ships. But I didn't know why they wanted to go to Argus. But here we've got a thing. that Illidan has pulled a fast one. We're not going to Argus directly. Argus has come to us. Now, as a physicist, I cannot let pass the concept that you suddenly shove a planet that wasn't in orbit around the planet you're stood on, in orbit around the planet you're stood on. There's going to be a few little effects. Okay, this is actually going to be pretty bad. But let's just forget about it. It's a fantasy thing. We don't have to obey the laws of physics. That's cool. So Argus is now in very close orbit around Azeroth. We're presumably still going to have to, you know, use a ship or something to get there. I mean, we're, we're not going to be climbing up on a rope ladder. But here's where it gets really interesting. Illidan has manufactured this situation. Like, Kadga's just asking, what have you done here? Velen doesn't look too happy either. Illidan has done this deliberately. He actually announces sometimes the hand of for, uh, the hand of fate has to be forced. There's something on Argus. Obviously, Argus is is one of the seats of power of the Legion. Now, largely, I thought because it was the main world of uh, of Archimonde and and, and Kil'jaeden was used as a staging post. But clearly, there's something else there. Something much more important. Otherwise, why would Illidan? Want, he's the one who's obviously driving the attack on Argus. Now, something is on Argus that he thinks is going to help them defeat the Burning Legion. So I'm going to go through a few summary points here that, that are now making me think, oh my God, what is happening? And am I wrong about Salgaris? I mean, I still don't think I am, but I'm now not as sure as I was. The first thing, absolutely the first thing to note here is that Kiljaden has now starting to think maybe you can defeat Sargeras. So now it's a possibility. No matter what everyone has said about, no, we can't possibly do it. No matter what I've thought to a certain extent. It's now been stated in a cinematic. Someone who should know about these things sort of is now thinking I can believe this. And then we've got Illidan who has, who has manufactured a situation where Argus has come to us. He thinks there's something on Argus that is going to help us defeat the Legion. Now, 
I don't know what that is. I mean, this is where, again, I, I say this could be evidence for the fact that we're going to be fighting Sargeras at some point. It could also be seen as evidence that we are definitely not. Sargeras, although he's not like huge compared to a planet like some people think, they're nonetheless fairly large. They are comparable. A Titan is incomparable in size to a planet-ish, sort of. Um, now, we've pulled Argus to us. We don't see Sargeras hiding behind it or anything. So... We can be fairly sure now that Sargas isn't in that region. I didn't think he was in the region of Argus anyway. So that's all, all fine. But what is there on Argus now that, that Illidan thinks is going to help us defeat the Burning Legion? And remember, Illidan has been billed, completely retconned, to be the bringer of the end days to demons, basically. He is the, the one destined to bring an end to the domination of demons. And of course, the demons are only a cohesive, cohesive force because of Sargeras forming the Burning Legion with them. Otherwise, they're just disparate sprites, basically. So, let me know in the comments below what you think there is on Argus that is worth Illidan bringing it to Azeroth so that we can launch an attack on it. Because this is now shaping up to be very, very exciting. I suppose we will start to find out more things. I would say in about two, two and a half, or two to three weeks when the 7.3 PTR comes on. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I am now sort of thinking we are maybe going to be doing some sort of fight against Sargeras. I don't think that's he's on Argus though, because again, size thing. Um, but I am now starting to think, hmm, maybe I'm a little bit wrong about that. Even though it's now, I'm still thinking. We're not going to kill Sargeras, but I used to be sort of 80% sure of that. Now I'm sort of more 60. So let me know what you think anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to uh, subscribe for further content. And until next time, I'll see you later.